Hello everyone, it's Scrabble here, and welcome to the next episode of our Let's Play of Blossom Tales for the Switch. Last time we ended up uh, getting up into the Snowy Mountains to Pinecone Village on our quest for the Ice Orchid. Today I suspect we will get to the uh, dungeon where the Ice Orchid could be found, but uh, let's see how it goes. My first step is to explore Pinecone Village and see what's available. Lily took the lift to reach the snowy mountains where Ice Orchid grows. Does anyone live up there, Grandpa? The monks are long gone, but there's a village of people known for their delicious hot cocoa and red hair. Sounds yummy. Can we have some? Maybe tomorrow. It's bedtime for you after this, so ho ho ho. Yay! Okay, yeah, we did the gallery last time. Something about Dr. Zombies gives me the creeps. Maybe it's because his name is Zombies. The Frozen Daisy Shop. Ooh, feathers. Oh. All right, we're gonna come up here and we're gonna talk to you. Can I follow you to the hot springs? I'm scared to go alone. I hope the disciples near the hot springs are safe. Yes, the town is under attack by zombies. Um, so here we have resurrection papers. Oh no. Oh, now that's a very special item. The amulet will bring you back from death's grasp once. It's very expensive. 500 gold. No, I think we already have some resurrection amulets, yeah? Yeah, we got three of them. 500 bucks each. There's no pieces of heart in there. There's no magic in there. There's none of that stuff that we require. Um, Druid's Feathers and the Steel Ore, but the Steel Ore is down in Golem's Haven. Our warriors can only hold off the zombies for so long. There are natural hot springs to the east of our town. They're amazing. Disciples of the Rose, the North Chapel. Ooh, one of the scrolls. Alyssa's scroll. I had a lovely stay at Pinecone Village. Even though it's very cold, the people always have a big smile on their face. My next stop is Frostroot Shrine. They say you have to cross a giant snowy cemetery to get there. Should be no problem with some tasty hot cocoa to keep my buns from freezing. And if they do, I'll take a dip in the hot springs along the way. We heard how Crocus betrayed King Orchid. You think he's hiding up here? I don't. Can I follow you to the hot springs? I'm scared to go alone. I hope the disciples are safe. Yeah, we've heard that one. Uh, nobody wants to talk to me there, and I can't jump up. So, here we go. Ah, here we have Dr. Zombies. Oh, our first look at zombies. Nice. Oh, what do you want? Why am I so angry? I was once a respected scientist for my research on the effects of magic on the dead. My goal was to discover a vaccine that would prevent necromancers from using the bodies for evil. But then, the king's brother accused me of trying to raise an undead army. I was banished from the kingdom and forced to set up shop in this winter wasteland. If only I could continue my research. I'm very low on test subjects and collecting zombie brains is dangerous work. Do you like fighting zombies? I'll reward you each time you bring me 20 brains. Okay, so 20 brains for him. The Council of the North. Someone must have disturbed Frostroot Shrine. You came at a bad time. The frozen bodies of the monks who used to live in the temple are coming back to life. Our warriors can only hold off the zombies for so long. What's wrong, you ask? I guess I can't hide it very well. My mother is sick, and we fear it may be too late. The only thing that can save her now is a health potion. We don't have enough money to buy one. Wait, you want to just give me a health potion? Mm, yeah, okay. Thank you so much, young knight. To show you how grateful I am, please accept this special gift. A piece of art. People say they've seen a great bird guardian protecting the halls of Frostroot Shrine. I guess that's going to be our next boss, a bird. You know what's weird? People without red hair. <laughs> Ice Orchid. That only grows in the temple to the north. Okay, ice is slippery. Oh! I saw it. 
You can't get away from me. Dig! What do we got? Ah, uh, just money. Okay, so there's a temple to the north. The Ice Root Temple that we're looking for. Uh, is there anything this way, though? Doesn't look like it. Alright, to the north we go. And yeah, walking on this ice, not the best. How anyone can live in this cold is beyond me. Would you like to hear a song? No, I'm good. Our warriors can only hold off the zombies for so long. North lies the graveyard, and beyond is certain death. And then over here, nope. All right. And what's in here? Oh, lots of people. My uncle is a beekeeper who lives in the lowlands. I wonder how he's doing now that the wilds are no longer safe. Uh, beekeeper's doing okay. We've seen him. Are you here to try our world-famous hot cocoa? I'm here to steal this. Oh, this piece of heart. I only need one more for a heart. There are natural hot springs to the east of our town. They're amazing. Many nights pass through town, but they've been gone a long time. Those would be the older knights who are out looking for the ingredients. I wonder if they've been turned into zombies. A letter? Hmm? What? There's a delay in my delivery because of mushroom season. Darn it. By this time, I thought I'd already be soaking my red-haired body in my own private hot tub. Ah, well. Don't tell anybody. My place looks empty, don't it? That's because I'm having something great put in here soon. But I'm not telling anyone what it is, because then the whole darn town will want to come in here and use it. It's a hot tub. Uh, and the hot springs aren't this way. They must be through the graveyard. We've heard that they're to the east, but to the graveyard they must be. Oh, hold on. Before we go in the graveyard, Grandpa's probably going to have something to say. Uh, nope, nothing that way. <gasps> Crocus! Those foolish monks! Because of the holy spiritual presence they left behind, I can't enter their temple and destroy all the ice orchids inside. I will use their frozen corpses to make sure no one dares go near their temple. That includes you, recruit. Come forth, my ice legion. <laughs> the wizard's necromantic spell raised the dead to greet the young knight. Zombies! So many zombies! Come on, zombies! Oh, zombies go down fast. Hey, a zombie brain! Oh, there's other zombie brains over here, and I just missed them. So we are at seven zombie brains. Eight zombie brains. So many zombie brains. Can we go in here? No, the whole thing seems to be locked. So, what do we need to do to get inside this temple? Let's find out. Maybe we have to go to the hot springs. Uh, no one wants to be draggable, so it looks like we don't drag any of those. There's no zombies on them. More zombies. We need your brains. We need 20 brains. Because we need 20 of everything in this game. Uh, looks like there's something up here. I see a minecart. Hey, friend. There's not much to look at here besides the monk temple. However, I heard from a reliable source that there's buried treasure in one of these graves. But every time I disturb the dirt, I get attacked by the undead. I'm more annoyed than terrified. Can you defend me, young knight? I'll even share some of the treasure. Sure. I dig while well, you chop into bits. Got it? Yes. Let's do this. He's going to have to dig up every stone. I already see it. Ah! I guess I better stick closer to him. Uh, 
Come on, archaeologist. If you want me to defend you, you better work. Hey, I thought you were going to watch my back. I am watching your back. Relax, friend. There's more zombies than I thought. You already dug, dug there. Are you just walking back and forth between the same spots? Whew. Well, we are definitely going to have enough zombie brains. I know, because we almost already have enough zombie brains. No! Whew! I found the gold! Thank you so much for helping me. As promised, your half. Cool. Now I'll pick up the zombie brains, and I bet the zombie brains will probably be a better payoff than that gold. Thanks again, friend. Um, yeah, we're gonna just dig this up here. Lots of gold. We'll take it. Alright, onward and upward. Well, eastward. Okay, I don't see anything over here to be worried about. But we will remember, we need to go back to town. This looks like it might be another maze. But there's a way to the east down there. We'll remember that. question is, how fast do they want me to be to run this maze? Think you're quick enough to reach the chest before time runs out? Let's find out. Only ten coins to give it a try. Three, two, one, go! Ah, I should have gone down the right one. But remember, it's faster to swing our sword, and that is what we'll do. Just keep swinging the sword all the way through. Don't stop swinging. Come on. Come on. No! 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 Well, I hope that doesn't screw us over. Ta da! Just keep swinging your sword. You'll be fine. Shoes? With these shoes, Lily was as fast as a centaur. Oh man. Quippable shoes. Wow. So much faster. Nah, I thought maybe he'd drop a shrewd feather. He doesn't. The shoes are fast, but they use up my magic too. They'd be very valuable in a speed run. <gasps> Lily felt a strange warm air hit her cold cheeks. Nearby were the famed hot springs of the frozen north. I was sent to collect the healing waters of these natural springs. You can find our monastery south of here. Bathing suit? What's a bathing suit? Sounds about right. My child is very sick back in the kingdom. These waters are my last hope. Well, I hope it works for you. These hot springs make my old bones, warm my old bones and make me feel like a young man again. to come down there and talk to you. Oh, 
Also, there's a way north of here. With more graves. <laughs> there are so many zombies. Holy cow. Oh, okay, look, there's the archaeologist. Now we're getting somewhere. Let's just check our map real quick. Oh, okay, look, wherever we're supposed to be going is very much to the east. But we know that locked temple is where the ice orchid is. So why do we have to go so far east when we're trying to get to the ice orchid? Burst through these guys. There we go. And we're going to head back down this way. I think this way was faster. The hot springs should be over here. Yep, there they are. Now there's someone up here that we didn't talk to. You. Did you notice how the undead don't go near the springs? It's incredible. So the undead don't go near the springs. And we can jump in the springs, which is always fun. But we can't jump off that way. Now there's a monastery to the south. Maybe this monastery can tell us where we need to be going. And of course there's a way this way too. We are in a giant ice maze. And that's a dead end. At least it feels like a giant ice maze. The monastery. We're getting there. Uh, I'm not quite sure how to get there, but we're getting there. Uh, I hope I didn't trap myself. Now well, we can go this way. Ah, and this takes us into a different way. I think we need to get through this maze in order to get to the monastery. I think it probably loops us back around. So, we'll head around here. Kind of looking for those stairs up. We're going to have to jump down. Walk around, hit these stairs, walk around, and jump down into here, and jump down into here. This will take us down and around this way, and through here. I'm afraid that jumping down more just takes us out of here. Hey, look at that. We made it. There's only one guy here. You must be freezing. Not many travelers make it all the way here. Please, take this and then warm yourself by the hearth. Magic. I like magic. You're welcome to rest here whenever you wish. Okay. Oh, we can jump down that way. Not that way. There. That takes us back to the beginning of the maze. 
So the question then is how do we get over? And we must have to go up. Maybe if we go up, there's a way over. There we go. We have found a trail. And a hole. We definitely fall down the hole. This hole is a very deep hole. And it just gives us gold. And this way down. Okay, so this is a stairway all the way up. It's good to know, but I can't think of any real reason for us to use it. Because we have teleport pads. so many guys this way. Closed. Come back later. Wonder where it is. Let me tell you what it is that's closed. You're not giving me the FOMO. I need to know what I'm missing. Alright, we know from the map that we have to keep heading east, so let's see if we can keep heading east. We're getting closer. A few screens. Whoa! Okay, we can only hurt these guys while they're down. But, we should put these bombs on. There we go, we got him with the bomb plus, and for our trouble, we got a single coin. That's not really worth it, but what's in here? They were guarding this cave. There was just a chest sitting there. Boring. Wait, there was also a puzzle. Oh, I don't want a puzzle. Give me anything other than a puzzle. Okay, so we'll have to go in this way. We have to come out next to us, right? Because we got to come out of the puzzle. We gotta go over here, down here, up. Oh, I'm gonna switch to the D-pad. Um, yeah, this is fine. We'll go like this, and over, and down, and over, and up, and over, and there we go. Wait! That was too simple. No, 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 it was just right, Grandpa. They were actually singing stones! Might need pen and paper again. Three one one three. Four three one two two. Four three one two two. One two three four. Oh, good. Too easy. Well, there was one last puzzle she had to solve. Uh, what's this? Don't see. There's there's one here. I see that? Oh, I see it. It's kind of buried on each wall. See here, and down here, and here, and over here. I'm not sure which wall corresponds to which thing though. 
So if that's right, this could be down. This one could be up. That one could be like that. It's not. <sighs> How do we know which one goes where? What if this one's down? This one is over. Huh. What if that one's down? And that one's at the top. That one's over. That one's like that. No. Huh. I don't see any hints here. I mean, I see the shapes, but I don't see the hints. I can't... I'm going to have to think on that one. I can't figure it out. And there's a way down here. I was thinking there was no way down. But we know that we have to go east more. Oh, we can go up here. Okay. And we can go up, but let's go over. Hey, buried treasure. Back out of zombies, we want this treasure. And the brains. Always the brains. As many brains as we can get. Who likes brains? We like brains. Uh, we need to go over one more on the map. And that might be by going up. So I think we have to go out and go up one, then come back over. Uh, nope, that's not going to work. Alright, how are we going to get over? This is becoming a good question. We jump down here, jump down here, and over. Yes! We found whatever it is we're looking for. Ta-da! Oh, that's not what I wanted. The Frost Root Shrine. Lily made it to Frostroot Shrine, but what she found was quite disheartening. What was it? Tell us! It was several of her fellow knights, frozen solid. Oh no! It looks like they froze while trying to figure out how to open the gate. What do you think, kids? Will Lily figure out how to get inside to find the last ingredient? Do it, Lily! Before you also turn into a popsicle... Hmm. So, these are letters? I mean, that looks like a T and an S and an H and a T. Can we move these guys onto these? Well, we can move them on, but nothing really happened when we moved them on. Huh. What are we looking for here? Hmm. There's definitely a puzzle here. And it has to do with these guys. This one's foot is up. This one has his hands out. This one has his hands out. But otherwise looks like this guy. 
This guy has his foot up and this guy has his arms down. Uh, this guy's hand and foot look a lot like the S. Now what's funny about this is that if this does solve the puzzle, yes, this wouldn't have worked without these frozen knights here. So the frozen knights couldn't have opened the door, although there were four of them, maybe they could just stand around. This guy looks like the H. Yep. Uh, this guy looks like maybe he's the T. Come on. By product of elimination, this guy here is the upside down T. Uh, it doesn't want to let me push it, so it must be caught or something. Yep, there we go. Come on, upside down T. We need you to open the door. There's definitely more than ice and snow in this sacred place. The knight could see her breath as she walked into the frozen halls of Frostroot Shrine. Well, we're locked up there. I think one of these probably has to move. Let's look. Huh. None of that changed. Let's see if Bomb does anything. Yep. Sure does. The question is still, did the bomb do anything I wanted it to do? What's that? Ah, switch! Cool! And let's... Oh, look, the lights blow up too. Everything blows up. Oh! Uh-oh. That's not going to blow up anything, I don't think. Nope. One there. One there. We are just going to blow up all the graves. Lily, you should show a little respect with what you're doing here. Nothing else. Onward, don't work. Okay, so, you can see by this guy and all the skulls, we are clearly in the next dungeon. Tomorrow, we will end up going through the Frostroot Shrine. Thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, share, and I will see you tomorrow as we continue Blossom Tales and our quest to get the potion to wake the sleep.